What's up guys, it's Ezamak and welcome back to part 7 of Let's Play Dragon Age Origins. When we last left off, we ascended the Tower of Ashal, we lit the beacons to signal Loghain's army to help the king. But he betrayed us, uh, he retreated with his army, the king and Duncan died. We were rescued by Morrigan and her mother Flemeth. They have bandaged us back to health and we've now got the mission of utilising the Grey Warden treaties to go and find the elves, the mages, the dwarfs, and the human armies, and unite them together in our fight against the blight. <laughs> We've also acquired Morrigan as a companion, so uh, if you yeah, must. not complaining at all, but we have her in our party, and it'll be nice to have um, a proper mage as well. So, <clears throat> pardon me, we have a level up, so if we hit this here, we'll hit about 25 strength so we can get the next um, combat ability if we unlock it, and we'll go... Two constitution as well, start getting our tank built up. We do have one as well, fantastic. So, as much as we do want to have master coercion at some point, uh, we do need to get expert combat training so that we can finally get the next um, proper melee damage ability overpower. Three times hitting with the shield, so that'll be like um, our shield bash, but just a wee bit more powerful. So overpower can go there. <clears throat> I'm not, no, I'm not really too fussed about precise striking, so I'll move it over. We'll have taunt and threaten there, and we'll leave precise striking with our shield defense one as well. Right, how do I get down from here? So, thank you, Flemeth, for all your help, but we will now be taking off to the world map. Saving game, brilliant. Gather your party and venture forth. Yes, please. <clears throat> And we finally get to our world map, Ferelden. So in the world of Dragon Age, the world is called Fadas. And then there's different countries. You have Ferelden, where we are. Um, to the west of Ferelden, there's Orle. Um, and Ferelden and Orle have been at war many times in the past. Um, I'm not sure whereabouts it is, but you've also got the Tevinter Imperium as well. Um, they're quite, pretty much just bad guys in the whole thing. They are the Dark Mages, they are your, your slave masters and such. And then north, we've got the Free Marches too. And I believe High Ever is somewhere either up here or up into the Free Marches. So, for now, the only place we can go is Lovering. Ah, oh, I miss this little animation as well. And every now and then on the road you'll get stopped. Denerim, that's the capital. And I expect each of you to supply these men. We must rebuild what was lost at Ostagar, and quickly. There are those who would take advantage of our weakened state if we let them. We must defeat this Darkspawn incursion, <coughs> but we must do so sensibly and without hesitation. Your Lordship, if I might speak. You have declared yourself Queen Anora's regent, and claim we must unite under your banner for our own good. But what of the army lost at Ostagar? Your withdrawal was most fortuitous. Ooh. Everything I have done has been to secure Ferelden's independence. I have not shirked my duty to the throne, and neither will any of you. You're a liar. The Baron will not bow to you simply because you demand it. Understand this. I will brook no threat to this nation from you or anyone. <clears throat> God, he really is a bastard. Isn't Van Tegan, please. Your Majesty, your father risks civil war. If Eamon were here. Van Tegan, my father is doing what is best. Did he also do what was best for your husband, your majesty? <laughs> Man comes out with the burns. <sighs> God, Logan's a bit of a prick. Hello there. Wake up, gentlemen. More travelers to attend to. I would guess that fellow was the leader. Uh, they don't look much like their mothers. You know, uh, Maybe we should just let these ones pass. Nonsense. Greetings, travelers. 
highwaymen, preying on those fleeing the Darkspawn, I suppose. They are fools to get in our way. I say, teach them a lesson. Now, is that any way to greet someone? A simple ten silvers and you're free to move on. You should listen to your friend. We're not refugees. What did I tell you? <clears throat> no wagons, and this one looks armed. The toll applies to everyone, Henrik. That's why it's a toll, and not, say, a refugee tax. Hmm. Oh, right. Even if you're no refugee, you still got to pay. Uh, you all have no idea who you're dealing with. Forget it, I'm not well, paying. I can't say I'm pleased to hear that. We have rules, you know. Right. We get to ransack your corpse, then. Those are the rules. <coughs> Do you really want to fight a Grey Warden? <clears throat> Did you say he's a Grey Warden? Them ones killed the king. Traitors to Ferelden, I hear. Turn Logain put quite a bounty on any who are found. But are them Grey Wardens good? I mean, really good. Good enough to kill a king. You have a point. Well, let's forget about the toll. We'll just leave you to your darkspawn fighting, king-killing ways. We didn't kill the king, but you're damn right we're good enough to. <laughs> you know, the Grey Wardens could use a donation. You don't say. He is really good, boss. Remember. So well, good. Well, yes. Twenty silvers? That's all we've collected today. Hmm. I've changed my mind. Absolute. Just when we had things settled. Not settled at all. You're preying on the weak and the vulnerable. And if we're going to be uniting for Elden, we can't be having you preying on all the refugees. Right. You're annoying me there, Archer. Let's use our new overpower ability. It's pretty cool. Three hits with the shield. A little bit of damage on each, and a knockdown as well. Bandit leader. You are done for, my son. Not Alistair died, I didn't even realise. Alright, hmm. we surrender. We're, we're just trying to get by before the dog spawn get us all. This shoddy operation is pathetic. I could do better. Um, right. <laughs> I guess so. I'm sorry. Hand over everything you've stolen. Yes, yes, of course. The coins we collected are right here. Uh, just over a hundred silvers. The rest is in the chest we brought. I swear. Then start running. And don't come back. Bless you. The Darkspawn can have this place. Sometimes you do have to show mercy. But be lucky. Knight's Locket and a Knight's Note as well. Oh, new quest, Fallen Templar. Money, 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 money bags. Bandits have run away as well, so at least we're not just leaving them in Lovering. Trap triggers. Fire arrows, very nice. And look at look at them graphics. It's visually phenomenal. It's, it's, it's a breakthrough. Um, right. Journal. Lovering. You found the body of a Templar slain by bandits. His corpse had been picked clean of everything, save a note and a locket. Perhaps the locket will mean something to someone back in Lovering. Well, let's find out. Well, there it is. Lothering. Pretty as a painting. Ah, so you have finally decided to rejoin us, <laughs> have you? Falling on your blade in grief <coughs> seemed like too much trouble, I take it. Is my being upset so hard to understand? Have you never lost someone important to you? Just what would you do if your mother died? Oof. Before or after I stopped laughing. <laughs> right, very creepy. Forget I asked. <laughs> oh, these two. The, the entire game, Alistair and Morrigan's banter. It's, it's incredible. You have been very quiet, Alistair. Yes, I know. I was just thinking. No wonder it took so long, then. <laughs> oh, I get it. This is the part where we're shocked to discover how you've never had a friend your entire life. I can be friendly when I desire to. Alas, desiring to be more intelligent does not make it so. 
Anyway, I thought we should talk about where we intend to go first. Okay. You have some thought on the points, Alistair? This should be good. I think <laughs> what Flemeth suggested is the best idea. These treaties, have you looked at them? <laughs> no. There are three main groups that we have treaties for. The Dalish Elves, the Dwarves of Orzammar, and the Circle of Magi. I also still think that Arleman is our best bet for help. We might even want to go to him first. Then we need to find these people. What, oh, what do you think we should do, Morrigan? Let's get everyone's opinion. Go after your <laughs> enemy directly. Find this man Loghain and kill him. The rest of this business with the treaties can then be done in safety. Yes, he certainly wouldn't see that coming, and it's not like he has the advantage <laughs> of an army and experience and... I was asked for my opinion and I gave it. If your wish is to come up with reasons why something cannot be done, we will stand here until the Darkspawn are upon us. They both make very good points. But we need to find these people. I can <clears> give you directions, if you like. I know where everything is, so thank then you. you have a plan. But it's nice, he will tell you where to find everyone if you don't know. I'm ready to get going. Fair enough. Let's head into the village whenever you're ready. Let's. Let's do that indeed. But first, we're going to explore around the little refugee camp. What else for it? Now we've got Morrigan as well. Just we should how uh... smart are Mabari supposed to be, anyway? Do you think they understand everything we say? Let's see. Oh, oh, apparently he does. Is that so? You could just be listening to the tone of my voice. You could be an... Ah, oh, look how they moan and wail and gnash their teeth. It is sad to watch how helplessly they scurry about. No. Yeah, it's, it, I mean, it's a very small refugee camp, but still, it's not something you do want to be seeing. Hello there, Templar. If you're looking for safe shelves, move on if you can. Lothering's lost. That's promising. <laughs> I'll go where I want. What do you mean? We've had refugees streaming from the south for the last two days. The Chantry and Tavern are full to burst. eyes. There simply isn't enough food to go around, and we Templars can barely keep order. You'd be better off elsewhere, my friend. I appreciate it. Thanks for the warning. Best of luck, wherever you might go. What a gent. Oh. See, there's always, always something to find. Flasks, that's very helpful for Morrigan making potions. The robbed man. Greetings to you, good sir. If it isn't too much to ask, might you spare some bread or, or anything? What happened to you? We thought it would be safe <coughs> in Lothering, that the Terran would bring his soldiers here. But bandits attacked us and took everything. Our food, our clothes, my daughter's pet lamb. Aww. Nobody cares about a few elves. Can you help us? I met those bandits and drove them off. That's wonderful news. Perhaps our belongings are still there. I can't thank you enough, friend. Even if we don't get everything back, it's... It's good to know others will be safe. Damn right it is. We're doing some good in the world. Bit by bit. I do have a... Uh, I've got ideas for my characters over this game. Dragon Age 2 and Dragon Age 3 as well. This one, obviously... Uh, we're from noble origins. We're quite. A t we're going to try and be, I think, as as good as we can be, but still, you know, we've we've got our Man, own goals, the, right the stuff we want to achieve. You profit from their misfortune. I should have the Templars give away everything in your carts. You wouldn't dare. Any of you step too close to my goods, and I'll. It's so nice to see <laughs> everyone working together in a crisis. Warms the heart. Oh, you there. You look able. Would you care to make a tiny profit helping a beleaguered businessman? Hmm. You see, as I was just saying, we are quite a morally good character. We have got our own goals. And if if we have clashing conflicts, we might want to take a different side to the best one. But um, for the most part, we, we do our bit to help the people. Is your profiteering ruffling some feathers? You could say that, yes. The nerve of these people! He is charging outlandish prices for things people desperately need. Their blood is filling his pockets! His only survival of the fittest. 
All of these Cretans would do the same in his shoes, given the chance. I have limited supplies. The people decide what those supplies are worth to them. Oh. You bought most of your wares from these very people last week. Now they flee for their lives, and you want to talk business? Look, stranger, I have a hundred silvers if you drive this rabble off, starting with that priest. I'm an honest merchant, nothing hmm. more. You don't think you're being unscrupulous? Would it help these folks if they could buy no goods at all? They spend their very last coin because they are desperate. And this man preys upon them as surely as the bandits outside the city. Ah, I'm not arguing the city. anymore. Drive off this woman and get your hundred silvers. Otherwise, I'm taking my wagon and leaving. I think you can compromise and still make a profit, no? Perhaps. If that woman agrees, I'm allowed to charge something. Do what you must. So long as the prices do not beggar the needy. Fine, fine, done. And since you don't look too needy, normal prices for you. So, we have come to solve every squabble in the village personally. Hmm? My, but the Darkspawn will be impressed. You're damn right, but will. Generous assistance. May the Maker watch over your path. I still haven't decided where our character stands on the religion side of things, but we'll, uh, I'm sure we'll come to that eventually. And there we go, that conflict kind of helped everyone in the situation. Huh. Don't suppose you're looking to buy something? I am, actually. All right. Just don't buy everything up. I'm the only one paying normal prices, you just said. You should want me to buy it all. You prick! Right. Don't need the dagger. We'll keep the flat blade. So it wasn't as good. Keep the bow. Keep the enchanted dagger. Uh, we'll have to see how that magic stuff compares to whatever Morrigan's got. Morrigan. You have magic staff steel. Mag yes, yeah, so the same, but hers is better because it's of a higher quality. Huh. Don't suppose you're looking to buy. So we'll sell that. We will sell that shit right now. Magic staff. Boom. Um, oh, it's good we get the stuff back that um, the circle mage died with as well. Sell those because we're not as good. We have heavy chainmail on. So we get rid of all that too. Fantastic surveyor, one willpower, Morrigan, you can have that. Willpower helping mages very well. Obviously they help us as well, but you know. Huh. Mages you need it for spells more than we need it for our abilities. Huh. Oh. Right. Weapons. None of that's looking Oh Dwarven Longsword. No, we still got a bit better damage. Fantastic. Any heavy chain mail here? No. F we could use flasks if my man's has any. It appears not crafting. Recipes. Yeah, no. No. That's a gift. We'll take gifts. Gifts are very helpful when we eventually get to our camp. Amazing. And uh, what we're going to do really quickly is we're just going to see if Morrigan can't make us some health potions. Six flasks. Fantastic. And that just stocks us up a little bit. Uh, no rogue for the chest, but we'll carry on. I don't like this. Little boy. Have you seen my mother? That depends. Who is your mother? She's really tall. And she has red hair. We live on a big farm hold, all of us. Some mean men with swords came, and Mother told me to run to the village as fast as I could, so I did. She said she'd be right behind me, but I've been waiting and waiting, and I can't see Aww. her. I don't think she's coming, child. Why not? Why would she leave me here? Oh. I don't think she meant to leave you. But she must be coming. Come with me, I'll help you look for her. Mother said I wasn't to go with <coughs> anyone. I'm supposed to wait for her here, in the village. 
Here, take for silver, buy something to eat. Yeah, go. Oh, <coughs> wow, thank you. You're welcome. You're a really nice man, kind of like father. I should go look for mother now. Ah, uh, that's maybe not the best of ideas, my son, but you do you. <laughs> and we've made half of that silver back already. Generosity never hurt anyone. I hear you drove off those bandits. The Chanters are still operating their board. Ooh. Chanters board. Bandits, bandits everywhere. Right. Looks like we're going to deal with some bandits. How that's dedication. The legions of evil are on your doorstep. That's a nice axe. They will feast upon our hearts. There is nowhere to run. This evil will cover the world like a plague of locusts. <laughs> Please, you're scaring the children. Better to slit their throats now than Whoa. let them suffer at dark spawn hands. <laughs> there, one of their minions is already amongst us. This man bears their evil stench. Can you not see the vile blackness that fills him? You need to pipe yourself down, my son. Watch where you throw accusations, fool. Please stop! Somebody <coughs> shut his mouth! But isn't he right? The ban left us. We're going to die. This minion is but the first of those who will destroy us! That's enough, this ends now. No! Do not touch me! You bring evil and destruction! It is the end! He was right, wasn't he? There's no hope for us. There's always hope. Muster your courage. You're right. We can't give up. But we can't fight. What are we supposed to do? We can't no, lie down fight. and die either. We must go north to dinner him. Well, that was an interaction and a half. Your king is dead. There is no hope. But there's nobody there. <laughs> Templar again. All right. Leather gloves. I don't think that really helps any of us. Samaran. If you seek refuge in the chantry, there's simply no room left. Do I look like a refugee to you? So many are coming to Lothering. I make no assumptions. Good point. The priests are within if you seek to offer devotion to the Maker, however. May he protect us all. Did you know there was bandits on the highway? Were? Did you drive them off? Well, Sir Bryant will appreciate that. Sir Bryant? Have you heard any news? Not since Teon Loghain passed by with his army. It's a shame about the king. But with the Darkspawn coming, few can think of anything else. Bye. Make her watch over you. We'll learn who's in charge of the Chantry. But he mentioned a Sir Bryant as well. Maybe he's someone of a, a higher, higher rank that we can There's speak to. Darkspawn stragglers, but no sign of them. Yeah, Sir Bryant. Who might you are. be? I am the Grey Warden, Aaron. I see. I am Sir Bryant, commander of the Lothering Templars. Logan declared all Grey Wardens traitors responsible for the King's death. You know this, I hope. Recently learned it. Grey Wardens did not know such thing. I don't believe the Grey Wardens would be as careless or malicious as the Tan claims. But either way, there it is. It is best you not linger, though. Just in case. Just in case what? About those bandits outside the village. Make his breath. How many times must we drive them off? <laughs> I demand compensation. <laughs> One less. I drove them off already. Indeed. They're gone. It's true. I saw the bastard running for the hills myself. That's an impressive feat indeed. Will you accept a small reward for your efforts? I could keep an eye out for trouble for the right pair. I wish I could afford such help to be truthful. Take your reward at any rate. It is all I have to offer. Thank you. If it interests you, there is a Chanter's board outside full of quests that need doing. The Chanter's even offer pay for some of them. Now, 
Unless there's something else you need. Well, we've already picked up one of them quests anyway. I should go. Travel safely, <clears throat> and may the Maker watch over you. And to you, I suppose, Sir Donald. Who? I beg your pardon. I did not see you approach. Because you were turned around, Sir my Donald. friend. Is that you? Alistair? By the Maker, how are you? I, I was certain you were dead. Not yet. No thanks to turn Loghain. If Arl Eamon were well, he'd set Loghain straight soon enough. If he were well? What, what, what do you mean? The Arl is stricken with an illness that threatens his life. We have found no cure, either natural or magical. When did this happen? Only a few weeks ago, but he has declined quickly. No one knows the nature of the illness, and even magic has done little to slow its progress. Well, that's not very good Our at all. Our only hope now is a miracle. Every knight of Redcliffe has gone in search of the urn of sacred ashes. Andraste's ashes are said to cure any illness. But I fear we are chasing a fable. With each day, my hope dims. Well, Alistair wanted us to go and see Arleman first, so if he's deadly ill with no cure in sight, that's not looking too promising. Your friend Sir Henrik is dead. I have something of his that's a Templar we found on the highway. What? And you have his locket? And a note? Maker's Indeed. mercy. Thank you for giving me these. I would never have known otherwise. It's like a literally a two minute walk up the road, but okay. I'm sorry about your friend. Thank you. I wonder how many of us have met similar fates on this mad quest. Several, my friend, several. Tell me more about this urn of sacred ashes. Supposedly, the urn contains the ashes of the prophetess Andraste. Surely you know all this. I do, but the audience, they may not. I'd like to hear what you've learned. If you're truly interested, there are books here containing a great deal of lore. Nothing I have found leads me to believe that this was anything more than a quest of desperation. With Henrik gone, I need to return to Redcliffe. Perhaps later I will seek out the scholar his note mentions. But I must go. Thank you again, good sir. You have been most helpful. You're welcome, my friend. Um, so maybe once we're in the camp, I'll go through all our codex pages, like you know, let everyone pause and read them. But basically, Andraste was um, the maker, who is God. Andraste was said to be his his lover, his wife, and she became a prophet herself. Everyone worshipped her, and the urn of sacred ashes is a supposed urn that contains her her burnt ashes. Um, said to contain magical healing prophecies but properties not prophecies but that can only be a, a myth right a legend surely i'm not about all this chanting let all Lock the cavern. be humble let all repeat the chant of life only the words very revered mother will you be making a donation to the chantry my friend you look like you have salvaged more of value than most who make it here. Oh, you make a good point. What tithe is acceptable? Might I suggest 30 silver? Look at five sovereigns, Christ. A sovereign's a gold, not a chance. 30 silver it is. Thank you, my son. You're welcome. What can I do for you, then? I'm a Grey Warden. I need your help. A Grey Warden? Here? Oh dear. Uh, you put whoa, me in whoa, a difficult whoa. position. You must know that Tern Logain declared the Grey Wardens to be outlaws. We've been told, we've been told. It's Logain who betrayed the king. Tern Logain? That is as hard for me to believe as his condemnation of the Wardens. There is a price on your head. Lay low and I promise to keep your presence a secret. That is the best I can do. Well, now, screw you then. If there is nothing else? No, you can take it. Perhaps I should go. May the Maker guard you, Grey Warden. No, oh, um, well, I mean, you can shove your chance up your ass. I never wonder if those that's an accurate sinned, likeness of Andraste. Maybe she was ugly. Maybe she had buck teeth. How would we know? That's a good point. Any of you got any crack? Okay. So we've picked up one of them Chantry Board quests. Uh... They do update over time, but I can't remember when. I think you might have to complete the first one to go about getting the rest. Let's pop a quick save, because it's been a while since we have. 
And we'll go over the bridge into the Do northern you really know what's going on here? The blight, the civil war. I really wonder how much of it you understand. So how is it hmm. Wagstail happily? When even a great the wardens didn't make it out of that place down south. Because he's a I coward, my friend. You might not Ooh, want helpful. to go in. Tavern's full, and those soldiers are being a nuisance. Tell me about these soldiers. They're not here to defend us. They were looking for someone before they started drinking. I hear they almost killed a man because they didn't like his face. Oof. I wonder if they're deserters from the king's army. <laughs> Hello there. <laughs> I should go. Ah. Of course. If you don't mind my asking, I hear talk of someone giving those bastards outside the village what they deserved. That wouldn't be you, would it? As a matter of fact, it was. It was? Hey, everyone! This is the one who drove out those thieving bastards! More will probably come, but it's good to know some <laughs> justice is left here. Thank you. Too bad he couldn't see Fun fact, Eve, in my many playthroughs, I've never spoke to him before. More. I'll say. Fuck you. The king down Let's go and see about these soldiers then. Well, look what we have here then. I think we've just been blessed. Uh-oh. Logan's men. Oh. This can't be good. Didn't we spend all morning asking about a fellow by this very description? And everyone said they hadn't seen him. It seems we were lied to. Gentlemen, surely there's Hello. no need for trouble. These are no doubt simply more poor souls seeking refuge. They're more than that. Now stay out of our way, sister. You protect these traitors, you'll get the same as them. <laughs> I don't need your help, miss. Please, stand back. You don't need my protection. But these men will blindly follow their master's command, even unto death. I am not the blind one. I served at Ostagar, where the turn saved us from the Grey Warden's treachery. I served him gladly. It's go time, father, chief. Take the Warden into custody. Kill this sister and anyone else that gets in your way. Right, let's make this quick. That sounds like a wonder blue. Commander, you're about to get it, my son. Liliana. Oh, Liliana. Pop a heel. All right, you've won. We surrender. Good. They've learned their lesson and we can all stop fighting now. The Grey Wardens didn't betray King Caelan. Logie ended. I was there. The turn pulled us out of a trap. Take a message to Logie. What do you want to tell him? He'll pay for what he's done. We're coming for him. I'll tell him right away now. Thank you. I apologize for interfering, but I couldn't just sit by and not help. Well, feel free to interfere anytime you like, Liliana. <laughs> I was happy to save your life. I appreciate what you tried to do. I am glad you found it in your heart to offer those men mercy. Let me introduce myself. I am Liliana. One of the lay sisters of the Chantry here in Lothering. Oh, I was. So she was a nun, essentially. I'm Aaron. A pleasure. Those men said you're a Grey Warden. You will be battling the Darkspawn, yes? That is what Grey Wardens do. That I is know the plan, darling. I know after you will need all the help you can get. That's why I'm coming along. <laughs> I will need help, that's true. That, and the Maker wants me to go with you. <laughs> I believe this is where I back away slowly. <laughs> I feel like this is very sarcastic. The maker is on, si on my side. Welcome aboard, then. Can you elaborate? I, I know that sounds absolutely insane, but it's true. I had a dream, a vision. More crazy? I thought we were all full <laughs> up. Look at the people here. They are lost in their despair, and this darkness, this chaos will spread the maker doesn't want this what you do what you are meant to do is the maker's work let me help i mean i think what i'm trying to do is just save the lives of humankind elf kind dwarven kind i don't know if it's the maker's work but i mean if you're coming on board i'll gladly say 
but it's for Maker's work. I will not turn away help when it's offered. Perhaps your skull was cracked worse than Mother thought. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate being given this chance. I will not let you down. Get the feeling Liliana and Morgan don't like each other already. Right, so we can only have four in a party. So, Rollo, I'm sorry, good boy, but Indeed. you've got to go. You can, uh, you can wait at home. Accept. Right, brilliant. Um, we do need to give Leliana some gear, and she is indeed a rogue. So, and she's a she's an archer as well. Fantastic. So we give her a bow, enchanted dagger. We could give her it, but I kind of want her, like we had with Davith, just to stick with the bow. Do we have any armor for her? Gloves. So we'll have to buy some. Fantastic. Uh, d d uh, hello there, Barlin. You're here about food. Take it up with that bleeding run by the chantry. I got other gear to sell. That's good to know. Don't worry about him. I took care of it. You did? Well, I don't know what to say to that. Thanks. You're welcome. Show me what you've got. Uh, right, we need to get some armor for Liliana. That is expensive, my god. Very expensive indeed. Fawn of the Dead Gods. Two damage on a dagger. Wow. So it'd be 6.60. It's really high for a dagger. Longbow Ash. Lightning Rod. Nah. We've got good abilities, but nothing but uh, we really need. Reduces hostility. That's good as well. He's got some good stuff, Bar. I always, I always forget this. Uh, right, Liliana had gloves, so let's buy her some armor. That was stood. So let's buy her some boots. We might as well get a matching pair of gloves as well. Fantastic. So, yeah, armor, Liliana. Equip, equip, equip. Silver. So, what's Morrigan wearing? Give her those. And she's wearing whatever what are these robes called, but she's wearing Morrigan's robes. There we go. And the clothing, not armour, so she doesn't actually get any defence from that. One willpower, ten mental resistance. One cunning, ten mental resistance. Does that to get one? Oh he's got that cold. Cold idol. Alice has got his ring which gives him willpower. And do we have anything on just yeah, just our warden's off. Fantastic. You've got a quest, apparently, Here my friend. Food. Take it up with that bleeding runt by the chantry. I've got other gear to sell. No of any well-paying work in Lover. Check the chantry's board by the chantry. There's good jobs, huh? We've done um, that. <clears throat> I don't suppose you know anything about uh, poison. I have dabbled in such things. I figured if I kept asking, I'd find someone. I'd pay good coin for some simple poison. Something to slow them beasties down or make them think twice. I'll see what I can do. Thanks. I, I might have some ingredients in stock. Don't really know what you need. That's good business. Farewell. Obviously, we can't dabble in poisons, but... Leliana can. Um, do we get a quest for that? A poisonous proposition of a farmer, Barlin wants to place poisonous traps about his farm to protect it from beasties and other trespassers. This should create a suitable poison for him. Three flasks of venom should do the trick. But we don't have any flasks. Any luck that poison? Or you hear us? No, I hate it. Right. I've done it again. Any luck with that poison? Yeah, it's instant, right. Where does one buy flasks? Crafting flasks. Let's buy a sovereign's worth. 76. Right, that'll do. That gives us plenty for um, healing portions as well. Now, the toxin extract, we've got one. Do you Any sell that? There, boys? Crafting. Toxin extract. Uh, 
Uh, no, you do not. Well, I wonder where we can get that from. I'll have to try and figure it out sooner rather than later. But now we have Liliana, we can do some good old looting. As you like. And try to find some toxin extract, hopefully, as well. Fantastic. Are you an open chest? Blackstone liaison. As I live and breathe, you're the Grey Warden everyone's been talking about. That's a fact. There's something I can do for you, my friend. I represent the Blackstone Irregulars. We're a mercenary company that fell on hard times after the war with Orle. I'm sure you know that times are getting worse every day. With your help, the Irregulars could be of use to Ferelden once more. How can I be of service? Our leaders thought you might be willing to help. Each of our posts in Ferelden will contain letters addressed to you. Unlike most who work with us, you're getting letters straight from Railnor and Tauran, our leaders. I hope this tells you how highly the Irregulars regard the Grey Wardens. I think it does. I'll take a look. Thank you. When you've completed a mission, just return to me or any of our members stationed at an Irregulars post. We'll make sure your efforts are rewarded. Make us blessings light your path. That's good to hear. Blackstone Irregulars box. Right, that's... Oh, I've knocked my mic first, sorry. Right, so we're getting some more quests here. Accept. And accept, and we will read over the quests once we are... Um, once we're out of here. But, oh my word, I've just looked at the you timer. We are going to have to call episode 7 there, folks. Thank you very much for watching. Please feel free to like the video, subscribe to the channel, stay tuned. This is the longest I've committed to a series so far, which uh, isn't great for me, but I'm really enjoying this one, and I hope you all are too. So I will see you in part 8 of the Nezimak, guys. Peace.